Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, rotate your object according to where your pointer is. So say if you click on a spot on the on the, the screen, you want it to look towards that direction. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So I went ahead and I uh, loaded an image on my spaceship and I assigned it to my spaceship. And now I'm going to set the sprite offset of my ship. So my ship, the dimensions of my ship is 200 by 200 pixel. So I'm setting the offset uh, 100, 100. And the offset is basically half of your height and half of your width. Since I knew what my, uh, my sprite dimension is, I can just assign it. But if you didn't know, you can always do the command uh, Get if I can spill. Get sprite height. So the command get sprite height will get the, your your uh, your y, which is you know up and down. Your height, which is your y, and then you divide by two, and then you get your offset for your y. And to get the x, you get this get sprite width which is the X left and right and once you get that you divide by 2 and that will give you your offset and then you just input those numbers into here but I'm not doing that because I know my dimensions and it's always good to know your dimensions it makes it a lot easier okay so now I'm gonna set the sprite size which you do however you want uh, now I'm going to set the sprite position by offset. So setting the sprite position by offset will, s will assign it. I have a percentage uh, resolution going on, so 50-50 is in the middle. So it's going to put the ship at 50-50 according to its offset point. So I'm going to bring in f Photoshop here, and this is my spaceship. Uh, don't make fun of it. <laughs> it's not much, but it's my spaceship. So by default, AGK will place your um, your sprites according to this top left corner. So it always places your sprites. So you, if you do a set sprite position, um, it will always place it according to this spot right here. So it won't be truly in the middle if you put it 50-50. It, it just won't. So my offset is 100-100, which is in the middle right here, because my dimensions are, and we can go to image size. I don't know if you can see this, but the width is 200, the height is 200, so the center is obviously 100 and 100. Half of width, half of height. Okay. So that's why I'm um, setting the sprite by offset. Okay, now I'm going to set sprite physics on for my ship. And once you do that, physics is turned on and it puts a default gravity. So if I ran it, the default gravity would just automatically pull my ship down. And it, autom it also automatically sets borders for you. So basically, there's an invisible border here, invisible border here, invisible border top to the left. So you can't go past any of these unless you manually set it off. But that's for another time. I'm not showing that for you today. But since this is a spaceship game, I'm going to set the gravity, set the physics gravity to 0, 0. So the first 0 is x. Uh, the second zero is Y. Um, so basically, if you change this number, say to a negative number, negative uh, ten, it gravity will will pull you towards the left side. And if you do a positive ten, gravity will pull you to the right side. So I guess it'll be good for wormholes or whatever. 
and y is the same thing. Um, positive y will pull you up, negative y will pull you down. Okay, so that's enough of that. So I'm gonna set the physics gravity to zero zero because we're in space, and in space, nothing pulls you, so it stays in the middle. It's at 50 50. And right now I'm clicking everywhere, but it's not doing anything. And that's because I don't have it doing anything. So we're going to create a function to rotate now. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, ship rotation. You can call it whatever you want. Close the function. And I always like to tab over so I know what I'm doing. So, the first thing you need to do is you want to get the location of your pointer. So, I'm going to go uh, my x, and you can call it whatever you want. You can just call it plain, plain x. Get pointer x. And then it just wants to. Okay, get pointer X, we'll just get the pointer of the X wherever your finger is or your mouse is. Uh, my Y, get pointer Y. And let's see, so now we're going to calculate the angle <coughs> and use the ATAN function or the ATAN full and don't ask me how this works because uh, I was never very good in math but this actually help uh, this formula helps you calculate the angle so my x minus get sprite x and you want to do it by offset everything is calculated by your offset because that's the center of your sprite and that's where you want it to rotate so your sprite name is my ship um, comma and now we get the y my y minus get sprite by uh, did I spell it wrong? Whoops. Get sprite y. <laughs> My ship. Then close it out. And now we're going to set the angle. Set sprite angle and then it wants to know the sprite name which is my ship comma and then it wants to know what the angle is and the angle is angle and that should work oh of course we have to call it so we're gonna call it in here ship rotation and that you call it, um, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna run it. And right now, wherever my pointer is, is where my, um, my ship is looking at. And I can spin as long as, uh, and that's basically it. And so if you want it to go there when it clicks, you would just have to put a command, uh, uh, get pointer pressed, if get pointer pressed, and you guys can figure that part out. I like to keep my tutorial simple. Alright, so thanks for watching.